They explain the relationship yeah. from fluid to crystallized intelligence. Fluid intelligence is how the brain operates, especially in high performers in their 20s and 30s. It focuses on using working memory, innovation, individual problem solving, and indefatigable focus, hardcore focus. So if you're really good at what you do as a lawyer, as anything in the intellectual professions, air traffic controller, electrician, you're going to be really good at those things. I remember anything. I can crack a problem by myself if I put my mind to it. It. I can focus for a really long time on things that I'm interested in. It makes you a star at what you do. It's the reason you got promoted before your friends. That neurophysiologically peaks at 39, and that's when working memory starts to degrade. That's when innovation starts to degrade. That's when focus starts to degrade. And that feels like failure. And that's the reason that burnout for so many people happens in their mid-40s, because they're on the wrong side of their fluid intelligence curve. And they're like, what used to be easy is now hard. Yeah. What used to be hard is now impossible. And that's why your, your dentist starts taking Fridays off when she's 43. That's why. Yeah. It's because it's like, I'm not making progress anymore. Now, that's the bad news. The good news there's is a second intelligence curve that comes in behind it. Crystallized intelligence is not based on innovation and working memory and individual achievement. It's based on wisdom, what you know, your ability to teach, and your pattern recognition based on this enormous library that you have. That's what crystallized intelligence is good at. How can you be a teacher, mentor, talent scout, explainer, pattern recognizer? That's what's your crystallized intelligence. And everybody's got their own right curve. They just have to find it.